Hey everyone, Andy here. Today we're going to do a quick demo on Adobe Muse, specifically the in-browser editing feature of Muse. This is one of the most exciting new developments in their drag and drop web development software. And we're really excited to see where Adobe is going to go with this. Right now you can only do basic edits like text, hyperlinks, and pictures, but we're expecting Adobe to ramp up the functionality of this in the coming year. And uh, I think it's going to be a real game changer for all you Adobe Muse fans out there. So uh, here's a quick tutorial on how to upload a site through in-browser and then also make basic changes to your site through the web. So here we are in the layout module of Adobe Muse. We've got a simple one-page site here for a local brew pub. We've got tap selection, food truck schedule, and a short events area. And over here on the mobile side, we've also got an adaptive version that features the same information. And when you're using in-browser editing, instead of exporting the HTML5 and going through FileZilla like we usually would or another FTP host, you're going to go to File and Upload to FTP Host. This is in the Adobe Muse program right here. It's going to prompt you for your FTP login credentials. This is your IP address and your standard uh, hosting username and password. I like to keep those stored so it doesn't prompt you every time you go to make a site update. And then it's going to ask you the root directory of the site. You have to put in the URL there and the folder on server. Sometimes your host will have an HTML or www type folder, but in this case we're going to upload straight to the root directory. Once you verify that, you can select upload all files or just the modified files. And in just a moment, it's going to go through a standard FTP upload process. Adobe Muse always kicks you out to a site preview so you can go back to Muse and then see a hyperlink here for the in-browser editing feature. You can cut and paste this hyperlink um, straight into a browser and it's going to take you to the Business Catalyst in-browser editing login area. So here's the sign-in. You're going to use the same FTP information that you uh, just did, your FTP username and password. And once you sign in, it's going to take you to the website that you just uploaded. But up here in the top left is going to be a separate menu bar that you can toggle between desktop and phone. And if, as you roll over each of these elements, you can see the edit box comes up. So you can actually click on, here we have the tap selection. And let's say the owner or an employee needs to make a change to the schedule. Uh, you can go in there and delete the old text, add new text, make sure the formatting is the same there. Any changes you make in this edit window are going to reflect the styling that you assigned early on in the Adobe Muse. Um, in the program. So keep that in mind. You, we have limited functionality when it comes to style changes right now, but according to Adobe, that's, that's on the way. Click Update here. And you can even change images, too. So let's say we need to change the featured truck in this case. Make a quick change to the title, and then click on the image. Adobe is actually going to resize these images for you, too. So you can drag any size image file just right into this import window. Drop it there. Click Update. Oh, and here's a tooltip window too. So this could help with your SEO keywords and also provide a mouse rollover prompt. There you can see the change. And we're going to go over, hit Publish right there. That'll save those updates on the desktop. And then go over to the mobile adaptive version right here since we made two versions of this page to load on a mobile phone. Go back through quickly, make the changes to the product. And as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be styled the same way as your text box in Adobe Muse. So uh, keep that in mind. The styling is going to stay the same. Adobe's pretty good about resizing these boxes. So if you needed to add a few dates or a few items, the 
parent box is going to also change in size and bump the elements of the page down. There we go, uploaded, success. So here we are back in the browser. We're gonna reload, and just like that, the changes are made. This in-browser editing feature is really convenient. It's very straightforward and is gonna to appeal to business owners who have been frustrated with content management systems and things like that in the past. So one last thing, when you reopen Muse after someone has made an in-browser edit, you're gonna get prompted, would you like to review and merge the changes? Generally, you're gonna just click through all these quickly. This will import the changes that you or someone else made on the web through the in-browser editing back into the actual project file in Adobe Muse so that the next time you go to make a major layout change or rearrange the content on the site, all the external changes will be reflected. So there you have it, a quick example of the in-browser editing feature of Adobe Muse, a really powerful new component to the Muse platform and very useful for you or your clients. Hope you enjoyed the demo.